Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday motivational episode. That's right, Monday motivation. Yeah, buddy. Now, today is uh, today's Friday, so happy Valentine's Day. I know it's gonna be a little belated by the time you watch this, but hey, whatever. Um, just so you guys can always get a little context as to what day it is and where I'm doing what I'm what's going on over here. Now, before I get started. I want to apologize ahead of time for the wind and I want to apologize for the camera and the shaking and all that because I'm using the old GoPro all right I mean literally let me see look you can see it there all right you see the old GoPro all right and that's basically because uh, you know the other GoPro um, is being serviced at the moment it's having its troubles Hola. Um, and um, as a matter of fact I just got an email from GoPro they should be sending the, the new camera. Um, actually, they already sent the camera, so it should be getting here in the next few days. So hopefully, it's already the weekend, so hopefully early next week. But anyways, Monday motivation, guys. That's right. Oh, and by the way, yeah, that's right, that's right. You're watching this on the other channel. So you guys don't even know what happened to my camera. If you wanna know what happened to my camera, go to the other channel and check out the video there so you can see exactly what happened to the GoPro. Um, but anyways, without further ado, Let's get on with the show. So today we're gonna to be talking about age because um, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, again, there's Monday motivation. You know, a lot of people out there. Oh, look how pretty this is. Hola. I might have to swing by and uh, come back. Hey, ¿cuánto están las flores? De precios. Sí, sí. Está todo a diferentes precios. Ah, okay, okay. Um, como esta, ¿cuánto sería? Ah, ok, ok, vas a estar aquí toda la tarde, sí. ¿verdad? Ok, ok, yo paso, ahora, ahora yo paso por aquí, ok? Gracias. Ok, cool. Like five bucks for flowers, not bad. It is Valentine's Day, as I was saying. But anyways, back to what I was saying about the age. Um, yeah, guys, you know, basically what's going on is the fact that, um, you know, a lot of people out there, no matter who you are, no matter what your age is, you know, because a lot of people out there might be thinking, oh, this might not pertain to me because... I'm XYZ age, but this actually pertains to everybody. And it's very important. I really want to bring this up because I actually had this in my notes as to a topic that I wanted to talk about, about the age thing, you know, meaning the question I always get, or not even the question I get, but the, the comment I always hear from individuals is that, oh, I am too old. I'm too old to do what I dreamed of. I'm too old to do this. I'm too old to do that. All this stuff. And look, guys. Let me just put it frank, okay? Let me let me be frank with you, okay? The reason I'm bringing this up is because it's not like the 60-year-old, the 70-year-old person that's, that's bringing this up. No, not at all. Basically, the ones that are... All right, hold on. I got to get on the street here. It's like a big hole. Anyways, uh, but yeah, basically, there's a lot of people in their 20s that think that they're too old already. Um, and then it wasn't until my my uh, my wife Christian, um, she was the one that you know kind of was. Uh, we were talking about this because of something she wanted to do, and that whole thing. And I was like, "Are you are you fucking kidding me right now? You're too old, you know." But I get that because I myself was once her age, you know, meaning 30 years old. And I remember when I was 30 years old, and I was already like a veteran of the the of the kitchen. I was already cooking and chefing it up for a long time, basically almost 15 years of my life. And um, yeah, um, you know, I, by the time I got to like 30, 30 years, 31 years old, I, I thought to myself, oh man, this is it. I can't change careers. I can't do something new. I can't anything. I'm, I'm stuck here forever. Um, I might as well just start getting used to it. I might as well start making friends with this, uh, this, this thing that I don't want to do anymore. And again, I, you know, we'll talk about that another day as to why I don't cook anymore, why I don't chef anymore. I cook, I just don't do it professionally. And there's a whole story behind that. And I would love to talk to you guys about it and all that good stuff. But in fact, I got to bring back story time, right? But basically, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You know what I mean? Like I, I at one time, at a, at a very, very young age, I was also thinking to myself, oh, there's no way. There's absolutely no way that I can change careers at 30 years old. There's no way that I can do anything else. I'm already past my prime, oh, yada, yada, yada. 
and basically you know the reason i was thinking that way was because i was uh going through the old uh you know that old um what is it like um what society always tells you and teaches you type of thing and so basically you know i spent a good majority of my youth you know whether it was a teenager or um in my 20s you know being a chef and going into the restaurant business so by the time i've like literally figured out man this is probably not for me i was not only 30 years old i was overweight i was feeling like shit you know i was feeling like shit all the time you know basically not not just emotionally because i was feeling like shit emotionally but i was also feeling like shit in the sense of like uh you know tired just straight up tired you know again you know when you're working 60 80 hours a week on the regular and a very physical job you know again that whole tired you know tired to the bone is a real thing and so you know I, I, it was just so many things not only was i physically tired i was uh mentally tired i was uh defeated i felt you know there was just so many things that to me it was just like um like impossible there's no way in hell that i'm ever gonna be able to to do anything outside of what i'm doing now and so a lot of the things that i would do would be basically um trying to figure out we'll be trying to figure out what i would be doing in the next 10 years meaning like okay i'm a chef i'm stuck in this whole chef life you know at 30 so what's things what are things going to look like for me at 40 45 you know things like that that i'm telling myself like damn what's the youngest i can be to be like a chef instructor what's the youngest you know i could be so i can get out of this kitchen um i was even thinking to myself man maybe i'll just open up my own little place and just you know just kind of live off of that but that obviously doesn't work with the economy in the u.s see out here i could definitely you know open up any kind of like little place and sell sandwiches and uh, i'll be good to go <laughs> um but uh but not in the u.s you already know in the u.s is like so difficult to to make ends meet especially if you even have a small business but anyways i digress the point is is that as i was looking at all my options everything was just getting worse and worse and worse it was basically no options until one day um i had enough i literally had already lost it all i lost some more and i was like you know what i'm done with this let me move to seattle to see if i can uh continue my chefing stuff up there and hopefully things will be better just from the standpoint of uh you know the, there's a lot higher pay you know rate up there um things were relatively cheaper at that time when i went up there meaning they were cheaper than uh than they were in the u.s <laughs> i mean and then the u.s and they were in miami because you know miami is one of those places that's crazy expensive and when i moved to seattle i want to say 2012 ish it was um a lot cheaper than what seattle is today but anyways i digress the point is i went to seattle thinking oh all i need is a fresh new city a fresh new look on things um a brand new start i was gonna i was already at the point where i lost everything and i had to like start again from brand new so i was like you know what let me just do a brand new city and i did that and basically it wasn't that new um it wasn't that new career i mean a new job in my old career as a chef that got me hold on one day one day one day it wasn't that was that wasn't what got me out of um that funk meaning you know what actually happened was that i i got a job up there it was a, a phenomenal job i was having a phenomenal time and everything was phenomenal until it wasn't until the same old thing kept happening over and over again and then that's when i realized okay that's it you know time to really make a change and at that point i had already made such a change and moving all the way across the country i'm um, starting brand new from nothing you know all of these things so when i you know when the option to like now at this point like to really start over and like say okay now let me see if i can really now start a brand new business or a brand new career or a brand new something like that my options were not they weren't they weren't as limiting as they were in miami so then that's what i did because in miami i had my business i had you know i had endeavors 
and all that stuff over there but basically what happened was that it was just too hard to make it but then when i all of a sudden tried it again in seattle i was able to really make it and i made it and all of a sudden like i changed careers i changed my life i changed everything that was the beginning of, of a lot of the steps that it took for me to get to where i am today and that's the thing you know it's like basically what got the whole thing started more than let me see hold on trying to get run over over here but basically what got me started yeah again i'm sorry about the camera i know it's a little shaky and uh hopefully it's not too windy and you guys can hear me but yeah anyway so like i was saying you know basically what 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 uh what jump started the whole thing was a change of environment a change of mentality just a just a change that's all you need sometimes just to change it could be something very simple as uh you know moving or being in a new um anything because again i could have uh, easily moved to another part of miami or gotten another job in miami but it would have been the same thing i've already done it all there but when i moved to seattle i was like no matter where i moved to it was completely brand new i never seen a mountain i never seen tulips you know i never seen any of this shit you know um there's so many other things you know um i never saw salmon outside of a salmon fillet type of thing you know just so many other things like that so you know that plus some um, the people in seattle plus the environment plus just so many things that all of a sudden i i felt rejuvenated i felt brand new i felt you know again on top of the world and basically all i did was just move you know just just change environments and then when things started uh you know meaning uh started going the same old way again in the kitchen and all that shit and all of a sudden i said you know what fuck this i'm not gonna cook anymore i gotta figure something else out it was way easier for me to do that because i was already in like my state of mind that had already changed completely i was in a wonderland i was happy i was you know in the land of opportunity you know it was just basically any other land but the land I'm, i came from and so on and so forth so it's kind of like the same thing you know why i tell a lot of people not just to move out here but to make that move when a lot of people tell me about the whole age thing it's just so many things you know how many people i've met in my age group that again have gone through the same thing and i just give them that talking to and be like look man you know it's still you're not only you're still young but look i've already been through this xyz or even people in the 60s you know or 70s or 50s or any age it doesn't really matter the age you know if you're if you've always been doing the same thing over and over and over by the way look a music store i gotta come in here all right show you guys around and all that stuff another day there's a lot of those i know i'm, I'm meaning to do one of those videos about music out here but um for the other channel right <laughs> but anyways but the point is is that yeah you know what i mean like um i you know all you really need sometimes is just to change all right let's go let's do this it's just a like a major change and that change can come in environment it can come in uh in many 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 forms but you know sometimes you can't make that major life change unless you make other changes first and that's the thing you know what i mean maybe your major life change isn't like a career change but it's more like i just want to move or maybe you want to whatever it is whatever it is you want to do or start or, or or and move in whatever direction you need to move to sometimes you can't make that decision of changing everything all at once because it's very difficult but by you making small little changes meaning you know whether it's moving well, it's just again there's so many things that need to be changed in your life just like anyone else is in this in this position and it's up to you you know so again to prioritize meaning like you know i couldn't control my career situation at that moment in miami but i could control where i lived i can control where i made my money i can control several things like that once i change environment my mind change and all these other things change then all of a sudden I was able i'm you know to you know look at the world from a completely different perspective and eyes and um very loud i know and um and yeah guys you know what i mean that that whole idea um what's going on here guys come on but anyway so yeah basically i'm you know going back to that whole idea it's uh it's just that you know what i mean like um you know the whole age thing <laughs> yeah so all right hold
hold on a second, hold on. It's very loud out here. Here, I'll show you why it's so loud. Look at all this traffic. But yeah, the, the whole age thing, you know, like again, why I'm bringing this up is because, you know, being out here, I encounter all kinds of people of all ages and especially um, older people, you know, meaning that they're coming out here to retire. They're coming out here just to, you know, um, have a better um, quality of life, you know, all of these things. And um, when they come out here, they just come out here with the idea of like, hey, I just want to retire. I just want to chill. I want to be on constant, vac per constant permanent vacation. You know, that whole deal. Let me see if I can... Uh... Anyways, you know, that whole idea. And then basically, um, once they're out here, you know, all of a sudden, you know, um, that quality of life changes so much to, to the positive where they all of a sudden feel like, oh man, now I can do... Now I can do um, X, Y, Z that I've always wanted to do. You know, meaning, uh, you know, I'm gonna go and hang out with this group of people, or I'm gonna start this business, or I'm gonna start playing guitar, or I'm gonna, whatever it is. And so that's the thing, you know, the whole age idea, you gotta remember, man, it's just like everything else that we talk about. These are all social constructs that are put for us, and, you know, put for us so that it, it, we have something in a sense of like, uh, you know, a way for them, for them to control us, you know? They gotta make these rules and these, uh, these walls so that we don't, bounce too hard you know um, off of these things type of thing and so you know that's the thing guys you know we got to remember that all of these things no matter what it's all um, it's all what they created for you and how in order to in order to create your universe for you when basically you have total control of your own universe and it's all about you know being able to break free from that which is why we talk about these things all the time because it's all about you know again i always say it's the, you got to get quiet you got to get out of your own head you got to get out of your own way you gotta you know like you gotta um start building confidence you gotta do all of these things but it's it's hard it's it's not easy you know like you might have some of these things with you but not all of them and it's um it's um you gotta have that complete package and a lot of people are always um, wondering or scared or whatever. It's like, how am I going to get the complete package? But again, guys, it takes time. It takes effort. It takes um, just taking those first steps. You know, basically, again, everything that I talk to you guys about every Monday. You know, if we just go back to the baby steps thing. It's like, you know, one of the steps that I had to take in order to make this humongous life change of mine was that I, I had to move across the country. I had to put myself in an environment which I am not familiar with. Even though I'm not familiar with the environment I am in right now, I feel more familiar with this where I am here today than I did in Seattle. So basically a lot of people are thinking, you know, tell me like, oh my God, that's so crazy. You moved all the way out here to Mexico and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, man, that's not that crazy for me, bro. I'm used to this. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, you know, um, I wasn't used to living in Seattle, living up in that, that cold weather, cold people, you know, all that shit. You know, out here, I'm, I'm used to this, man. You know, like, you know, certain neighborhoods in Miami are just like this or worse. You know, this is nice. This is chill. It's hot, literally. Um, trying to see if I can cross the street here. But, uh, but yeah, guys, and again, it's all about, it's all in the mind, you know? It, basically, it's always all in the mind. And it's, uh, you have more power than you think you do. And, um, you know, that whole age thing, you know, it's all, again, it's all a number, basically. Um, I'm 38, but I know plenty of people that are half my age and they look older than me. Or they feel more tired and uh, they feel worse off than I do. And, uh, you know, just so many things like that, you know what I mean? It's just constant. Again, guys, it's all in the mind. It really is all in the mind. And anyone can do anything. It's just up to you whether you're going to want to do it or not. And um, the whole age thing, again, guys, you know, I want to keep going back and forth, you know, back over that again. It's really just a number. Because, again, going back to what I was saying at the beginning, where when I was 30 years old, I couldn't even imagine, you know, making such a crazy, dramatic, drastic life change as I've done already. But that's because, again, not only was I, I not in the right state of mind, not only was I not healthy, not mentally, physically, all of these things, but it was just so many things that... that 
prevented me from doing that. I mean, just walking all the way to where I'm walking now, back in the day, I couldn't even imagine it. Now, I do it all the time. And um, it's just so many things like that, but it all starts with um, those first few steps. And um, are you gonna take those steps or not take those steps? And, uh, and um, you already know what you need to do. And even if you don't know what you need to do, you know that you need to make a change. And that change, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's all up to you, basically. All right, let me see if I can cross the street here. But basically, it, it really is all up to you, you know what I mean? And, um, and again, those changes, you might not know the exact blueprint of what you need to do, and that's totally okay. Sorry, loud, loud as hell, I know. I know, very loud, very loud. But again, you might not know the exact steps that you need to take but you you we, again we talked about this over and over again you do know you do know where you know you do, look how about this you know where you don't want to be you know what you don't want to do you you know a lot of things already so it's now you know trying to start making those changes because again 10 years ago i didn't know anything the only thing i knew was that i did not want to be doing what i was doing all i knew is that i was very unhappy and i needed to make a change i knew a lot of these things and guess what i actually fucking made those changes i actually moved in that direction and i, I did what i had to do and now basically 10 years later i'm here not just making these videos but i'm the happiest i've ever been in my entire life i really am i mean again i don't even know what to tell you i just got married not too long ago check out the wedding video if you haven't seen it yet and so many other things like that you know what i mean like it's just constant happiness and uh even though things aren't perfect man you know what i mean like in comparison to what they used to be i'm i'm in heaven right now basically um even getting roasted by the sun still feels so amazing so good it's um you know the heat and the sweat makes you feel alive speaking of which it's time to go i'm already here at the destination um i really hope i really hope that you guys enjoyed today's monday motivation i really hope that you guys enjoyed this content i really hope that you guys enjoy hanging out with me as always and uh you already know the deal if you want to see more of this content please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon you know check out the other channel check out my website check out the discord check out all the content i'm always constantly creating um and uh yeah, that's it, guys. Um, check out the little Gary V video at the end of this, and uh, that's it, guys. More importantly than anything else, I need you guys to stay awesome, be awesome, and uh, love life. All right, so guys, I'll catch you guys later. All right, look at this guy. Later, guys. If I could just change your perspective, if I could just get you to realize you have a whole nother life to live, I need you to understand something. You have so much time. You as 50 year olds are gonna live dramatically longer and healthier than your parents and grandparents generation. So you sit here at 50 and as a child what you grew up with you start realizing like ooh where am I in my life? Middle, tail end to middle. It's hard for somebody who's for 30 years gone a certain blueprint to understand that this is that realistic and they feel like it's a young man's sport and it's just not. Like it's just not. But what blows me away is how many of you have decided that you're finished. Dwelling on the fact that you didn't do it in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s actually means nothing. You start settling in to this is my life, this is how it played out, I could have, I should have, and what I wish is that you know, why am I making this video? I'm probably making it for my 50 year old self, so, hey Gary, 50 year old self, yeah, you used to have hair. Nobody cares if you're 40, 70, 90, alien, female, male, minority, the market, the market, not an individual person in your world, the market will accept your victories if you're good enough to have a victory. There's so many people that truly are good entrepreneurs or have entrepreneurial DNA, but they just weren't lucky enough to be born during an era that that seemed practical. It is super appropriate for you to start that business that you've always wanted right now. Educate yourself on the new world. Yes, you didn't grow up with Instagram. I didn't grow up with this shit either, but I figured it out. You figured out how to drive, you figured out how to be a parent, you figured it all out. So many of you watching this have 40 full big years. Think back to when you were 10. From that moment till right now, all that life you've got on the back end. If you've got the right DNA and you're a 72 year old female, you have just as good of a bat as a 27 year old dude. Start representing the people that actually 
put in the work, the gray hairs, that, that context, that knowledge. Start deploying that. This isn't just for the kids, my friends. This is our opportunity as well. If you're 40 or older, it is your time to stand up and take advantage of your life because there's so much left of it. This video is made for one reason. I want it to be the calling card, the seed of the explosion of the 40 to 80 year old entrepreneur in our society.